हेलो गाइज वेलकम यू वॉन्स अगेन ऑन आवर यूट्यूब चैनल फिजिक्स हब सो गाइज लेट मी टेल यू द टॉपिक फॉर दिस वीडियो सो यू कैन सी द टाइटल डिटेल्स अबाउट द हेलिकल मोशन ऑफ ए चार्ज पार्टिकल इन स्टैटिक मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बिफोर गोइंग टू द हेलिकल मोशन यू नो दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रिक्वेंट टॉपिक बिफोर गोइंग इन टू दैट वील सी दैट हाउ डज ए चार्ज पार्टिकल बिहेव if it enters some static magnetic field so it can enter in a perpendicular direction so charged particle enters in the direction perpendicular to the field so you can in, see in this figure this crossed shows inward magnetic field the direction of magnetic field is going into the pitch and if some charged particle enters into this field it means it is entering perpendicular to this field so we have a charged particle if it is entering in this way then this charge particle is entering perpendicular to the field so what we are doing we are considering this coordinate system let's say this is x axis this is y axis and this is z axis uh, for this case you will see that the centripetal force centrifugal force will be balanced by the lorentz force the lorentz force is the force because of the magnetic field so here what is the lorentz force the lorentz force is v q v if v and v are perpendicular because this is the velocity so v and v are perpendicular so this will be v q v this will be balanced by the centrifugal force m v square by r and from here we can get the radius of the circular trajectory which is m v by v q so you have to remember this result because this this result we are going to utilize later on i don't know what kind of color we have taken for this anyway r equals to mv by vq so the scenario is uh, uh, something like this we have considered a curve like this okay this is your x axis this is your y axis and this is your z axis and uh, your magnetic field is inward so let's say this is along the negative z direction this is this is the direction of magnetic field and you have your charge particle here q and its velocity is in this direction this is the direction of the velocity v so a force will be acting like this f so we have incorporated this and we got this formula r is equals to mv by bq so whenever a charge particle enters into a, a perpendicular magnetic field it will make a circular trajectory okay now let's go for this case if instead of uh, entering into a perpendicular magnetic field if the charge particle enters in the direction making an angle with the field okay if this situation happens then it will make a helical trajectory so what it is basically telling you that let's say let's consider the coordinate system once again this is x axis this is y axis and this is z axis okay so we are taking this as x axis this is y axis and this is z axis and let's say the magnetic field is there along this z direction this is the direction of the magnetic field and uh, your particle is charge particle is entering here q is entering here and this is making an angle theta with the direction of the magnetic field okay so this is the velocity v and you can see this is the perpendicular direction so you will have two directions one along the parallel to the field another along the perpendicular to the field okay so let's say this velocity vector is making an angle theta okay in the direction of the magnetic field so this component will be v cos theta and this component will be v sin theta as this component is parallel to this field this component is your v parallel this component is perpendicular this to this field so this component is termed as v perpendicular and as you can see this because of this v sin theta v perpendicular this will make circular trajectory because with respect to this this is perpendicular and because of this it will also travel in the z direction it will go upward and it will make circular trajectory so uh, if i draw the overall trajectory this will somewhat look like this okay 
this kind of circular trajectory in the upward direction is known as the helical motion this kind of motion is known as helical motion fine so this perpendicular component is responsible for this circular trajectory so b parallel is along the magnetic field b perpendicular b sin theta is along the perpendicular direction to the field now what will be the radius of the trajectory m because b perpendicular is responsible for the circular trajectory so mb perpendicular by bq which you have got it mb by bq so this is mb perpendicular by bq now what will be the time period look 2 pi r is traversed in with velocity v so 2 pi r by v <coughs> now 2 pi r is mb perpendicular by bq and here the v is v perpendicular so this is giving you 2 pi m by bq so this is the time period and r you can write m v sin theta upon bq okay now we are uh, we can also calculate the frequency which is inverse or reciprocal of the time period which is pq by 2 pi m now the question is there is a term called pitch p i t c h what is this pitch so you can see this is a circular trajectory right and another so, uh, it is moving upward and it is making some circular trajectory so it is moving some linear distance so between these two circular trajectory there is a linear distance this linear distance is called the pitch okay so what is basically the pitch pitch is nothing but p i t c h pitch pitch is nothing but period of revolution t multiplied by the linear velocity what is the linear velocity linear velocity is the velocity along the direction of the magnetic field b parallel so what you can write period of revolution we have got 2 pi m by b q times linear velocity linear velocity is v cos theta okay so this is 2 pi m by b q into what is v v is b q r b q r by m sin theta okay now because here you can see v is b q r by m sin theta from the first on this relation b q r by m sin theta and this cos theta is remaining as it is so the ultimate formula is this m this m b q b q sin theta cos theta sin theta cot theta so this is 2 pi r into cot theta so this is the value of the pitch so in different exams questions generally come from this helical motion so i hope you have clearly understood i have tried to make you understand it very clearly in simple language even if even after this if you have any question query regarding this you can let me know in the comment section i will definitely try to help you out now <clears throat> Before I end this video, let me just tell you a few things. If you are targeting for the upcoming CS and physical science exam, you can prepare on an academic class. You can follow my profile. This is my profile. And you can have a look at all my courses by visiting this URL anacademy.com slash at that physics hub. You can get all the detailed courses like mathematical physics, classical mechanics, electromagnetic theory, quantum mechanics, statistical physics, atomic molecular, and many more lot of benefits are there of taking a plus subscription few of them have been listed here you can just pause and read all of them now and one, one announcement is there as price hike will be there by 20 percent on may 31 so if you are willing to take the plus subscription take it right now using our referral code phx or phy sicx hub otherwise you will miss this opportunity uh, this kind of subscription are available you can go for any other subscription if you apply this referral code physics of physicxhub an academy will give you the maximum benefits so take the academy plus subscription today and put your feet one step ahead towards your goal and subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed it yet and see you guys in the next video bye bye take care